this is Georgia here. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? Anyways, we're going to make some pot roast. I have a um, round bottom steak here. It's a good piece of meat. It's grass fed. So this is about three and a half pounds. It's going to take a long time to cook, but it's okay. It's worth it, you guys. I'm going to cook this. I'm not going to bake this. I'm going to cook this here in low heat. It's going to take about probably three hours. It's supposed to be one hour for every one pound of the meat. So it's going to cook about three and a half hours because this is three and a half pounds. So first thing first, we're going to make our rub, our seasoning, okay? So, and also it's supposed to be, I believe, a teaspoon of salt per pound of the meat. So uh, I'm going to do, I don't want it too spicy, so I'm going to do two teaspoons of the black pepper. You can use um, whatever spices you want. So I'm going to just do three teaspoons of salt. I'm scared to put a lot of uh, salt here because I don't want it too salty. So I'm going to do three teaspoons of salt. I can do a lot of garlic because I like, I like garlic. So garlic powder. I'm going to do three, three teaspoons. That's a lot. Then um, parsley, I'm gonna turn this on medium high. So we're gonna do parsley. I also have rosemary. I don't have rosemary, fresh rosemary, so I'm gonna use uh, I don't think this matters, so I'm just gonna uh, put a lot in here. This is uh, dried parsley. You can use uh, fresh parsley if you want, but I'll just use dried one. Um, also, I'm using rosemary leaves, the dried one, because I don't have any, um, I can't find no fresh rosemary. Okay, let's do about a tablespoon of this. And then we're going to mix this all. Okay, so right there is my rub. So we're going to, uh, before anything else, before I get dirty, I'm going to put oil in here. I'm using olive oil because we're going to sear this meat. Just a little oil. Okay, just a little bit. So we're going to season this. Don't be scared to get dirty because this is worth it. Okay. You can add um, any herbs that you like, but I'm very plain and simple. So I'm just going to use those whatever I mixed. So this is a really good piece of meat, you guys. Take a long time, but it's okay. It's worth it. Normally, I will bake this, but I am not turning on my oven. Okay, so the more I guess spices, the better. So I put it all. Okay, oh, that looks good. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to um, move my camera so you guys can see. Okay, so that's better. Our pan is ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear our meat. Look at that. So we're going to sear it. Maybe I'll do uh, that first. So just sear it until it's brown because that's what it makes the uh, pot roast taste good. Some people they use um, flour. I'm gonna add a little flour on it. Oh, 
it smells good, you guys. Other one before it's too late. And we're gonna turn it back. Okay. Just a little flour. Smells good. Maybe add, add a little more oil in here. All right, so while that's frying, we're going to make my vegetable. So uh, I'm gonna add potato, carrots and some onions that's all the veggies that we're going to use mm, smells good so we're just gonna sear it all sides so we can get that brown color that we want the burnt color that we want from the meat Okay. Ooh, smells good. Alright, so let's cut up our carrots and potatoes. All right, so now we're gonna put this in here for now. And we're gonna add more oil. I'm gonna just uh, scrape this. Okay, we're gonna add our onions. back our meat all right just like that then we're going to add our veggies our potatoes Potatoes, carrots, you can add celery if you want, or turnips, or whatever veggies you want. Some kind of root veggies. So I only added two potatoes. And I have three cups of chicken broth. So we're gonna do, you can use wine if you want, but I'm using chicken broth. I use chicken bouillon guys and just add hot water to dissolve it. Alright. So hopefully that's enough water there. So just kinda submerge your uh, potatoes and carrots. Then we will cook this in medium low for about three hours. So now we're going to cover it 
and let it cook. So it's been an hour and a half now, so we're going to uh, flip our meat and I'm going to uh, take the potatoes and carrots because they're all done now and we're going to put it back later. So this is going to be mushy if I leave it here. So I'm going to pull it out for now and put it back later. she can smell this it smells so good we can thicken our sauce later after this and that will be our gravy Another hour and a half at least. And we'll check back. Okay, so I think our meat is ready. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna um take it out of the pan. Oh yeah, look at that. This is going to be our gravy. So uh, I have here a uh, couple tablespoons of flour. We're gonna um, add this in here, thicken this. It's a little thick now, but I will thicken it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put back our potato. So good, you guys. It looks good. Alright, so I think that's thick enough. Let's see. So just let that flour cook. Yeah, that's thick enough. See, that's gravy. Alright, so let's put our Turn this on medium low. Put our potato because it's cold. Okay, let it simmer for about five minutes. And then I'm going to show you guys how moist the meat is. So there you have it, guys. All done. Oh my god, it took about three hours and a half really so it's about 30 uh, one hour for every one pound oh my goodness this is so good mm, mm, mm. it's worth the wait you guys well, thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on my next video.